This is Luella O. Parsons speaking. It's the 4th of July. Nineteen thirty-six, and I want to tell you about a wonderful evening I had with some of your favorite stars. <laughs> First of all, we had cockball, high t- cocktail, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> at Marion Davies' lovely beach home. <laughs> Connie Talmage was there. Now <laughs> Herbert Marshall. Lyle Talbert, Gloria Swanson, Merle Oberon, and a host of others. Marion never looked lovelier. After cocktails, we adjourned to the home of the Countess de Frazzo, and Dottie de Frazzo was her own charming self and provided novel entertainment in the form of a wrestling match (laughs) with our buffet supper, (laughs) which I thought was cute of her. Connie Talmage was there. (laughs) Herbert Marshall, Lyle Talbert, Gloria Swanson, Edna St. Vincent Millay, Edna Mae Oliver, and a host of others. Marion never looked lovelier. <laughs> Let's all go to my house, said that hostess of hostesses, Anna Mae Wong. <laughs> so we whisked away to her hillside pagoda, Ding Dong. <laughs> I think it's a cute name for the place where we sat around and ate preserved ginger and leeching nuts. (laughs) And we listened to the music of Bach, Beethoven, and Herb Nassio Brown. (laughs) And Connie Talmage was there. And Herb Marshall, Lyle Talbert, Gloria Swanson, Bobby Breen, (laughs) Deanna Durbin, Toby Wing and a host of others. Marion never looked lovelier. We concluded the evening at the home of that beautiful Russian star, Eugenie Leontovich, where we sat around on the floor and ate balalaikas. <laughs> no, oh, I'm sorry. Well, well, Connie Talmage was there. Herbert Marshall, Lyle Talbert, Gloria Swanson, Helen Twelve Trees, Freddie March, and a host of others. We interrupt this program to bring you a news flash. Oh. Pasadena has been rocked by the most violent earthquake in history. Oh. The city has now been put under martial law. Heavens. Too early to get an exact report of damage. No, I see. But we will be back on the air as further reports are received. Take it away, Luella. (laughs) Marion never looked lovelier.